What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Midas and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple letter logo like you see on the screen right now. So this is a pretty simple logo to make. Takes no time at all. Super easy for most of you guys that just want to get your channel up and you know up and running. So let's get right to it man. Let's do this. Let me show you guys how this is done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open Photoshop. So once you have the program open, the next thing you want to do is you want to create a new project. And for this project, I'm just going to name this YT logo. And you want to make sure your width is 800 by 800 pixels. So you want to make sure your resolution is 72 pixels per inch, RGB color, 8 bit. Just make sure everything else is, you know, just about the same as this. You want to make sure your background content, which is uh, basically the background of your, of, of, you know, your whole project is either black, white, or transparent. I usually would go with black just to kind of get, you know, make my colors pop depending on, depending on what you're going with. You can always change the color during the project to whatever you want. So if you want to change this color to a different background color, all you have to do is make sure this you know layer is selected and head over here to edit and then go over to fill and then you can fill it with whatever you want right now I have white selected so let me just cancel this and change it to a different color to show you guys what I'm talking about head over here and you select whatever color you want or you go on Google and search for the, the hex code and type it in here and then you just you know go up to let's say gold and then we're just gonna go okay and we're gonna go edit and then fill and then foreground color make sure all these are the same hit okay you got a whole new background color right there i'm just going to be using black for this and uh that's just for you guys that want to you know use a different color for your background the next thing we want to do is we want to get a, a text so i'm going to be using black midas only one letter is what we're going to be what we're going to be using because we're going to be making a simple youtube logo in this tutorial i usually would go to dapfont.com this link will be in the description for you to go to i get a lot of free fonts you know i can use or that i use across you know a lot of different projects you want to head over here and search for what you know works with you so i like to work with the brush fonts or you know something bold strong that's not like you know small and thin or you know will get lost so blow brush right here is one of my favorite ones i use it across a lot of different things but it you know it stands out as you can see right there so i'm gonna open this up as you can see i've had it downloaded before so all you have to do is just click this you gotta have you know WinRAW or some kind of you know archiver you know to get this downloaded or installed so you just have to do this and then install it right here i already have this installed on my computer all you do all you have to do is install it and then it's going to be on your computer this works for both windows and mac you can get funds for both of them from this website so let's go back to photoshop so now we have our letter we want to go over to text right here just click the t right here and uh you can just search up whatever text you want so i'm going to search out blow brush so right there blow brush regular as you can see and you just create a create a text layer and then just type in whatever you want i'm going to be using just the letter b and now you want to expand this basically so just grab one of the edges and just draw just drag on it you know just drag until you're satisfied so i only need it to be around here if you want to center this layer what you got to do is make sure you have it clicked so as you can see i have it selected and then click Control a on windows and then command a if you're on mac just to select the whole layer and as you can see these little things right here they have help you you know align a layer horizontally or vertically you click the center one right here to align it horizontally and you click it this one right here to align it vertically as you can see so now it's perfectly centered and then you click Control d command d on mac to deselect the whole layer so now we have our b centered the next thing i want to draw is a little shape just to add some flair to it and you know i want a simple uh logo i don't want anything too crazy you can use any letters you want by the way i'm going to change this color to white because this does not look like white but i want white color in order to change this color to white you just got to right click on the layer go to blend and options this works with any 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 letter and just choose color overlay you may have that selected and you see it's white now the whole thing's white the next thing you want to do is draw a shape which is what i'm going to be doing so you can draw whatever shapes you want you can even draw a custom shape you know create your own you know crazy shapes but i'm just going to be using a, a rectangle so you want to select this and just draw just draw it out draw whatever shape you're trying to you know draw and just draw you can still move it around so don't worry about that as you can see it's yellow it's just going to use whatever color is on this wheel right here now the next thing you want to do is you want to grab this and drag it so select the selection tool and just pull it just align it underneath somewhere around there which is which looks nice enough you can reshape this but just make sure you have shift held down that way it re re resizes perfectly you know as a perfect rectangle so that's what i did i just resized 
resized it multiple times just to get that nice you know shape and next thing you want to do is you want to right click on this layer and change this to white as well so color overlay white and that's done the next thing we want to do now is draw a circle around this a simple circle outline what you want to do is go over here shapes and select the ellipse tool the ellipse tool can be used to draw circles in photoshop all you have to do is hold down shift and pull and draw right over it as you can see right there and then you let go but you see the layer is above all the other layers so if you want this layer underneath every other layer just drop it or grab it and pull it underneath every single layer except the background layer and this is another way to change the background of your logo the next thing you want to do here is you want to right click on the ellipse uh, layer and go to blending options and then you throw on a stroke this is going to draw an outline on it you can draw the outline on the inside the outside and the center so i usually just draw mine on the outside i don't you know mess around with nothing else and i like to increase the size make it really you know really stand out there you know strong because you know with the logo the things tend to shrink so you want to have a bold you know outline to it and then you click ok and then for if you want to get rid of this background and just have like you know this black background or whatever whatever background you have back here what you have to do is just go over to the fill make sure this layer is selected and just go to the fill right here and just change this to zero right there and it's all gone all you got now is the outline so you just click this so everything saves in place and as you can see right now we have a nice little shape if you want to align this circle this circle this outline to the center as well you do the same thing as we did earlier with the letter b and select select this layer and then control a to select the entire thing and then just click this to align this horizontally and this to align this vertically and there you go voila perfectly align everything's you know the way you want but if you want if you don't want it to be perfectly aligned to the center you can just move things around the way you want because you know it's just it's just up to you at the end of the day how you want your your, your logo to look the next thing we're going to do now is just export this because this is basically done so you go over here export and just export right there and that's our logo right there but you want to export this as a, as a jpeg by the way jpg at 800 800 and just export export to wherever you want i'm going to export mine to desktop and just save then i'm going to throw this on on my account just to show, show you guys how this looks so here we are we're just going to upload the picture and see how it looks so basically you just go over to your youtube channel you click on the the profile picture and basically just add this so you see this is my yt logo right here on the screen I'm just going to click open as you can see right now it's on the screen you just hit done and it's going to be saved on there as you can see logos on nothing else to do it's perfectly on there and that's all i got for you guys if you're new to the channel make Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're looking to make you know your banner your first banner and you know have no idea how to make it or how to go about making it on, on making it on adobe photoshop make sure to click on the video that's on the screen right now and i'll catch you guys in the next one midas is out